Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hi. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Teacher. Hi, Julia Maritza. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. Um, Good. Yeah. How was how was your day? Very busy, teacher. Oh, you I... Yes, but I'm do? here. Okay. Ready for the... That's great. So, what did you do today? Um, sorry, teacher. What did you do today? Uh, attend the consumer. Okay. In the, in the store. And, and it's in the music in, in English teacher. Oh, all right, good. You did some practice, nice. And how about the platform? Have you been working on it? Yes, uh, today I'm listening to section four, the okay. video. Perfect. For the video. That's very well. Okay. Uh -huh. Marta Lilian, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? Very good. Thank you. Great. And how about your day? How was it? I work. You had to work today? Okay. And the platform? What can you tell me about it? Mm, I, I work in the four section. You're in section four, okay. All right, that sounds good. Keep going. Melissa okay. Arely, good evening. Hi, good evening, teacher. How's everything? I'm fine. Great. How was your day? Uh, working in my house. Oh, okay. Uh, you're a housewife or you just work at home? Uh, work at home. Oh, okay. What do you do? Mm -hmm. uh, no sé cómo se dice, uh, diseñar uh, ropa de cama. You design a bed lining. Bed lining, okay. Mm -hmm. That's good. Ingrid Carolina, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Very good. Great, how was your day? Um, good. It was fine. All right. And how about the platform, Miss? Have you been working on it? Estoy en la sección cuatro. You're in section four as well. Okay. You're doing pretty well. Keep going. Luis Enriquez, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Good teacher, how are you? All right, nice. I'm doing well, thanks for asking. How was your day? Uh, it was a normal day. Just normal, okay. Yes. All right, sounds good. And how about the platform? I'm in section four. You're in section four as well. Okay, yes. excellent. Maria del Carmen, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. Okay, good. And how was your day? Very good. I'm working. Okay, you had to work. All right, and how about the platform? Uh, in the platform, uh, finished. You finished. Okay. Sí. 
Very well, congratulations. Thank you. Sí, Luis Alonso. Good evening. Luis Alonso, good evening. Okay, let me see. Mayra Portillo, good evening. Present teacher. How are you, Mayra? Hi, I, I work. Oh, you're working. Okay. All right. That's fine. And let me see. Um, Katia Lisbeth, how are you today? Uh, good. All right. Very well. How was your day? Uh, tired. Oh, okay. Did you have to work? In mm -hmm. de la universidad. Oh, you did homework. University mm -hmm. homework. Okay. All right, that's good. And how about the platform, Katia? Have you been working on it? Sí, todavía me he quedado en la sección tres porque me cuesta lo de las direcciones. Oh, okay. Today we're going to talk a little bit about that. So maybe we can solve the doubts you get. Okay, so we may start uh, by taking attendance. So please everybody pay attention. Uh, Ingrid Carolina. Present teacher. Okay, Jennifer Noemi. Present. Okay, Jocelyn Asiria. Present teacher. Okay, Joana Raquel. Present teacher. Good, Julia Maritza. Present teacher. Karen Elizabeth. Present teacher. Great, Karen Stephanie Argueta. Okay. Carla Iris Martinez. Present teacher. Good, Carla Vanessa González. Present. All right. Katia Lisbeth Arriola. Present. Great. Crisia Magdalena Muñoz. Present teacher. Okay. Luis Alberto. Present teacher. Good. Luis Alonso. Luis Carlos. Luis Carlos Guevara. Luz Marina Hernández. Luz Marina Hernández. Okay, thank you. Mayra Lorena Portillo. Present teacher. Thank you. Manuel Aristides. Present teacher. Thank you. Marco Antonio. Marco Antonio Ramirez. Okay. María del Carmen. Present. Okay. María José Ábrego. Present. Good. María José Martínez. Present. Thank you. Marlene Guadalupe. Marlene Guadalupe Berríos. Marta Lilian Guevara. Present. Good. Marvin Joseph Salazar. Present teacher. Thank you. Mayra Roxana Vilorio. Present teacher. Okay, Melissa Arely. Present. Thanks. Melvin Antonio. Present. Good. Milagro Elizabeth. Present teacher. Okay, Nancy Carolina. Nancy Carolina Mengíbar. 
Oscar Giovanni Ortega. Present teacher. Great. Jose Atilio Flores. Okay. All right. So we are going to start today's class by talking about uh, how to give directions. So yesterday we talked about locations, right? How, how to tell where something is. And for that, we use different prepositions, right? Do you remember we use next to and we use next to, behind, across from. We also have between and different prepositions, right? Those are for indicating location or the place where something is. Now let's talk a bit let's talk about the the directions how do i give direction well let's start by watching the video and then we'll talk about it hi everyone in this class you'll learn how to ask for and give directions additionally you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, Is it far from here? Let's listen and practice. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you help me? How do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Just walk up Fifth Avenue to 50th Street. St. Patrick's is on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? Is it far from here? It's right behind you. Just turn around and look up. We're going to practice giving directions now. Let's practice these phrases and vocabulary to give directions. How do I get to Rockefeller Center? Walk up Fifth Avenue. Go up Fifth Avenue. Turn left on 49th Street. It's on the right. How can I get to Bryant Park? Walk down Fifth Avenue. Go down Fifth Avenue. Turn right on 42nd Street. It's on the left. So let me summarize the vocabulary we must learn. Four questions. How do I get to? And we mention a place. Or, how can I get to, then we mention a place. For answers, walk up, go up, walk down, go down. Turn left on, turn right on, on the right, on the left. Make sure you memorize this vocabulary as it will be essential to ask for and give directions. Now, let's try to analyze the expressions walk up or go up. The first thing we want to do when giving directions is to have a departing point. Where are you located? And where do you want to go? Let's say that we are at the Empire State Building and we have a question like the example shows. How do I get to Rockefeller Center? Or how can I get to Rockefeller Center? The first instruction would be walk up Fifth Avenue or go up Fifth Avenue. Now let's pretend that we are at 42nd Street 
and Madison Avenue. And we want to get to St. Patrick's Cathedral. The question would be, how do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Or how can I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? The first instruction would be, walk up Madison Avenue or go up Madison Avenue. Now, let's pretend we are at Okay, so let me uh, tell you about, oh, I stopped sharing by accident, sorry. Let me go back. What's that? Okay, well, and in order to ask four directions, we have two questions that we can ask. How do I get to, or how can I get to? If, for example, if you want to go to the park, you would say, how can I get to the park, or how do I get to the park? How do I get to the church? How can I get to the police station? How do I get to the mall? How can I get to what? To the supermarket, for instance. So you say, how do I get or how can I get? And then you add the place you want to go to. And then in order to give directions, we have some different phrases to use. We have walk up or go up, walk down, go down. And then we have a turn right, right, a la derecha, turn left, eh, cruzar a la izquierda. And we got a, it's on the right or it's on the left. So, um, well, with this, we just need to keep practicing, right? It's kind of, um, I mean, at first it may, it may be a little, difficult for you, but if you keep practicing, you'll see it's very simple. So let me go to the other map so we can practice. So here, these are the questions and these are the phrases we have in order to answer. Everybody repeat, please. How do I get to? How, How do I get to? How do I get to? How can I get to? How can, How can I, I get to? Walk, Walk, Walk up. Walk up. Go up. Go, Go up. 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 Walk down. Walk down. down. Go down. Go down. down. Turn left on. Turn left, left on. Down. Turn right on. Go down. Turn right, Go right on. Right on. On the right. On the right. On the left. On the left. On the left. Okay. Uh, do you have questions about this? Turn right on. Any questions about it? Or are we clear? Turn right. Uh, turn right on. Cruzar a la derecha in. Like turn right on Main Street. Cruzar a la derecha en Main Street. And turn left would be the opposite, a la izquierda. Left, izquierda, right, derecha. And... Well, well, Sorry? Well, well, walk up, like subir, well, or yeah, walk up, go up, it would be like go straight, como ir eh, left, or like up or down. Yes? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And yeah, now that I mention it, there is another one which is really useful, which is like go straight on, like let me add it here so you know it. 
go straight on. So that would be like ir recto. Go straight on this street and you'll get there, for instance. Uh, so that is another useful phrase. Then how do I use them? For example, let's suppose that I'm here at this point. Let me put something there to represent it. Oh, I can use that. Okay, so I'm here and then I want to go to the gas station. How do I get to the gas station? Any ideas? How do I get to the gas station if I'm here? What would you tell me? Turn right uh, in Broadway Street and um, walk up in the Third Avenue. Okay, turn right on Broadway Street. And then what do I do? Well, walk up, walk up. Walk in the Third up. Avenue. On Third Avenue, okay. Where do I find it? Turn right. Okay, so here is where you can use it's on the left or it's on the right. So you could say it's on the right in this case. Uh, right. Okay, on the right. Yeah. It's on the right, it's on. great. Tell me. Eso depende donde, donde sea el punto de partida. Exactly, that's correct. Yes, uh, okay. So let's try another one. Tell me, how can I get to the museum? Yes. Uh, while, while down right the, Broadway Street. Here, I mean, the right, the Broadway Street. Okay, turn right mm. on Broadway Street. And then? Uh, on, on the on right the corner. Mm. Oh. Okay, so you would say Next to the department go, store. Go straight. And it's on the right or on the left? On the right. right. On the left. On the right. It's on, on the, the right. right. It's on the right across from the department store, for instance. Okay, good. Now let's change the reference point. Hey, let me. Okay, now I'm here. And uh, tell me, how can I get to the... Um, to the park. Go down. Okay. Down, down, down on Third, third Avenue. Avenue. Then I turn. Right, 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 in the right, Broadway right, the street. Right, right, right. Okay, I turn. Wait a little. I turn right or left over here because I'm coming from right. here. Right. Right. Uh, Are you left. sure? Left. Wait a little. Left. Yeah, we come from here. Oh no, you're right. Yeah, it's right. right. It's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was confused. Sorry. <laughs> so yes, we would turn right on Broadway Street and then go straight on the Broadway Street. Walk up. Broadway okay. Street. Walk up. And then mm. in the park is the on the left, the, across the, from barbershop. On the left. Very well. Okay, we got to the park. Now let's make another one. Let me get a different color. Okay, um, how about if I'm here? And I want to go to the Mark's coffee shop. How do I get there? Go straight. Okay. On the Broadway Street. Walk up on the Broadway Street. Right. And turn, turn right and Second the, Avenue. Second turn right on Second Avenue. 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 Work up. Okay. 
And Mark's coffee is on oh. right across from Mall of LA. Oh. All right, excellent. So that is how we give directions, right? And um, now let's do it this way. I'm going to make a route and then you tell me the, the directions. So let me see, we'll start here. And we'll go this way. Okay, so tell me, what's the route? What's the route here? I'm here and then I went all this way. So what tell up, me the, uh, the Bond Street. On Bond Street, okay. Turn left on Second and Avenue. Good. And then turn left, left on Broadway Street. On Broadway Street. And, uh, right. Okay. And turn right in Third Avenue. Right, very well. And the museum is on the left. The museum is on the left, very well. Okay, do we have any questions about this? Any doubts? No questions? Okay, then we may continue with the next topic. Um, well, our next topic is the simple past, right? If you have, if you have gotten to section number four, you've seen that we are going to study the past. So let's take a look at that. What, what do we have? Okay, so let's start with this one. By the end of this class, you will learn how to form positive and negative statements in the simple past using regular verbs. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. So let's listen to that conversation and then we talk about the past. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn to form positive and negative statements in the simple past using regular verbs. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, I didn't study. Let's listen and practice. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercised in the morning. Then my roommate and I cleaned, did laundry and shopped. And then I visited my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh no, do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched television all weekend. Okay, let's take some minutes to practice a conversation. Do I have any volunteers to read? Mommy. Maria del Carmen and Manuel Aristides. Okay, Manuel, you start. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a positive weekend and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I excited 
in the morning, then my resumes and and I clean up this lovely and shopping, and then I visit to my parents. So, what do you do on Sunday? I study for the test all day. Oh no! Do you, we have a test today? I did study. I just watched 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 television. Watch it. Watch television all weekend. Okay, very good. Thanks for reading. And let's repeat some words. Everybody repeat. Busy. 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 Tired. Busy. Tired. 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 Exercised. Exercise. 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 That's Exercise. at the end. Exercise. 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 Cleaned. 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 Roommate. 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 Dead. 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 Laundry. Laundry. Shopped. Shopped. Shop. 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 Visited. 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 Studied. 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 Study. 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 Watched. Watch. 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 Okay. Let me have a second pair to practice. Me teach. Mayra me. and. Oh, let me see who raised. Uh, sorry, who said me? Luis Alberto. Okay, uh, let me have Mayra Villorio and Luis Alberto. Okay. I'm Jennifer. Yes. Hi, Jennifer. Mm. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercise in the morning. Then my roadmate and I clean it, the laundry and shopping. And then I visit my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I study for the test all day. Oh no, do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watch television all weekend. Okay, very good. And there was somebody else who wanted to read. There were more people, so go ahead. Let's see who else wants to participate. Any other volunteers to read the conversation? Melissa yeah, Lee and Oscar. And Oscar, okay, fine. Melissa and Oscar, go ahead. Okay, hi, hi, Jennifer. Do you had a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend. I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I excite, 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 exercise, exercise. 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 Mm -hmm. In the morning, they my roommate and I cleaned, did laundry and shopped, and they I uh, visited my parent parents. So what do you do on Sunday? I study for the test all day. Oh no! Do we had a test today? I did. I didn't study. I just watched it television all weekend. Okay, very good. And then Jennifer, you also raise your hand to read. Do you still want to read? Yep. Jennifer, let me, okay. And who's going to read with Jennifer? I am. Me, 
Um, okay, so it was Luis Alonso and Jennifer then. Um, okay, go ahead. Okay. Uh, hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had full food weekend and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday I exercise in the morning. Then my room is and I clean the laundry and shop it and then I visit it my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I started for the pet all day. Oh no, do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watch the television all weekend. Okay, good. Thank you for reading. Um, now let's repeat the words again. Everybody repeat. Busy. 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 Tired. 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 Exercised. Exercise. Cleaned. Clean. Clean. Did. 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 Shot. 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 Visited. Visited. Studied. 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 That S at the uh, beginning uh, is also pronounced. Studied. 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 Okay. Didn't. 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 Didn't study. Didn't study. Didn't study. Just. 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 Watched. 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 Okay. So uh, let's take a look at the negative statements. We're going to start with those ones um, here. So uh, this is very simple because we only need the auxiliary and then we keep the verb in the present. We do not change it in any way. So the, the structure that we follow in order to make negative statements in the simple past is we use a subject first like I, she, or they, then the auxiliary did plus not, or we could also use the contracted form didn't, which is the same, right? And then the verb goes in the present. So as I mentioned before, we got go, it, work. Here in the negative statements, we do not change the verb. They go in the, in the base form, in the infinitive, so they do not take any ED, they do not take ING or anything else. They go in the base form. And then we just add a complement, right? We got some examples. I did not go out last weekend. She didn't eat pasta on Friday. They did not work last week. So that is what we have for the negative statements. We use did not or didn't. Any questions about this? Anything no. Else? No? We ready to practice? Okay, so this is what we are going to do. I'm going to send you a picture of this exercise. A, well, we got two different exercises. On the first one, you have to complete the, the sentences by filling in the blanks you seen the verb in parentheses and the negative, of course. And in the second exercise, what you have to do is to put the sentences in the, in the right order. You put the words in the right order and make sentences in the negative. And I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms for a moment so you can solve this together with your classmates and then we come back and check. Any doubts before we get there? Any questions? 
teacher. Tell me. In the first exercise, is uh, vamos a, a poner el verbo en pasado o solo en negativo? It's negative. You're going to use the negative. Okay. Yes. All right, I'm opening the rooms now. Esa, se, sí. es, esa sería she didn't. She didn't. She didn't. She didn't. She didn't. She didn't. Buy, buy, buy a new buy car. A new car. Uh -huh. She didn't. Él, oh. Alguien que lo vaya anotando a mano. Uh -huh. She didn't, didn't buy a new buy car. A new car. Uh -huh. um, they. they they didn't. didn't play play it no play no play play play, play. play. tennis on Saturday Sunday 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 okay. no pero es eso es que es un verbo no es un nombre un nombre, nombre. Es un nombre sería él entonces sería he, ella ella eh, sería yeah. digamos she didn't didn't go uh -huh. to school Cool. Okay. I I did I didn't. Sería en esta la cuatro. Call him. Ah, pues sí, así sería. Yeah. Mucha que tiene la panadería sweet. ¿Cómo sería sweet? By bread, no, right. by bread, at the, at the sweet bakery. Sweet bakery, uh -huh. Uh -huh, sí sería. La tres. Uh -huh. Students. The, the students, no, sería de. The students. Student did, did not. A lot of questions. Did not. Did not, no, sería did not. Ask a lot of questions. Lot, lot. Take not. ¿Qué más dije? Ask. Ask. Mm. By Ask. student. Uh -huh. By student. By student did not. Did not. Ask questions. Ask. No, a lot of questions. A lot of questions. Ay, ahí aquí hay una. Ajá, acaba. Do not a lot of questions. Uh -huh. X. X. A lot. Ya hice solo relajo en esto. <laughs> Yo también. A question. Y off, ¿a dónde va? La O y la F. Por la cuatro vamos ahora. Uh -huh. 
Christian. La cuarta es Christian. Bye. Bye. A new guitar. A new guitar. Christian. Christian no pudo comprar. Bye. No va a comprar otro. Christian. Didn't. Bye. Y el puntito va. <laughs> yes. <laughs> a new, a new guitar. Las cinco sería. Las cinco. We, we didn't watch. We watch. Watch. What cars? What the car? What the car? On Saturday. Saturday. Sí, sí, sí. We didn't watch on Hello, did you finish? Hello, teacher. Teacher. Tell me. The todas, teacher, or all. Uh, you have to complete them all using the negative, of course. Okay. Only negative, teacher, or. Only negative. Mm, yes, only negative. I mean, with the auxiliary, did not or didn't. Yeah, yeah. All right. Thank okay. you. You're welcome. Oh, you're having trouble. Okay, don't worry. I got it. Yeah, the weather really affects the connections, right? It's pretty bad. Vamos a colocar lo negativo de play, de go, uh -huh. call, seal, drink, listen, y write. Yes, you make negative sentences. For example, in number one, she did not buy a new car or she didn't buy a new car. That's what you have to do. You complete them by adding the auxiliary did not or didn't in the verb, which goes in the present. Yeah. Um, do you have any other doubts or are we clear now? So clear. Okay. Mm. All right, so maybe, maybe you can try to, to complete them orally. I mean, Sería, I didn't call him, o, oh, oh. mm -hmm. Yes, you would say, I, I, I didn't call him. I didn't call him. Yes. She didn't buy a new card. Mm-hmm. 
they didn't play tennis on Sunday. Swear, um, se dice swear o so. 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 Mm -hmm. so didn't go to high school. I didn't call him. He didn't sell his house. Tom didn't drink some juice. We didn't listen to the news on the radio. Radio? Radio? Just radio. Justin and Ryan didn't write a little to her. Okay, yeah, that's right. You, It's correct. Thank you, teacher. Sí, la, la otra compañera, porque está cayendo una gran tormenta, no escucha mucho. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's fine, no don't worry. I... Estaba ella también. Uh -huh. Ok, yes, I know that the sí. weather affects los... a lot. Okay. Y el otro compañero, Luis Guevara Velasco. Mm. El otro okay. se salió. Yeah. Yeah, I got many people that are coming in and out. Maybe they are having trouble with the internet. Okay, so we're coming back to the main room right now and we'll solve the practice together so we can check. Okay, hello everybody, welcome back. Um, all right, now that we are all coming back, um, I'm going to take the screenshot. So please everyone turn on your cameras. We can get the screenshots now and then we'll check the practice. Okay. Okay. Right, I'm waiting for everybody to turn on the camera. Okay, I'm taking the screenshot now. Okay, I'm getting the second screenshot. There we go. Okay, thank you. So let's check the practice then. Got the first one in filling in the blanks. What is the the negative statement for number one? She didn't. She didn't buy a new car. 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 She didn't buy a new car. Okay, number two. They, they didn't, didn't play, play tennis, tennis, on play tennis on Sunday. Okay. They didn't play tennis on Sunday. Three? Sue so so didn't go to school. To school. High school. Sue so didn't go to school. Four? I didn't I call, call, him. call him. I didn't call, call him. him. Call him. I did call him. Okay. I didn't call him or I did not call him. Number five. He didn't, didn't sell. sell he didn't sell his house. He uh, didn't sell his house, or he did not sell his, his house. house. Number six. Tom did not Tom drink did some juice. Tom, Tom, did Tom didn't drink some juice. juice. Tom did not drink 
some juice or Tom mm -hmm. didn't drink some juice. Some juice. Um, number seven. We, we, we didn't, didn't listen, listen. We didn't listen to the news on the radio. We didn't listen to the news on the radio or we did not oh. listen to the news on the radio. Number eight. We have Justin and Ryan didn't write a letter to their mom. Okay, very well. Next exercise. And ex tell me the sentence number one. I... I didn't, I didn't have, have breakfast. breakfast. I didn't have breakfast. Number two. Susan did not buy bread. Bakery. Bakery. Bakery sweet. Susan did not buy bread at the bakery sweet. Number three. Uh -huh. The student did not. Did not the student. Just not ask a lot of questions. The students did not ask a lot of questions. Number four. Christian didn't buy a new guitar. Christian didn't buy a new guitar. Number five. We didn't watch. We didn't watch the car on Saturday. We didn't watch the car on Saturday. Six. Fiona did not, not visit her grandma. grandma. Fiona did not visit her grandma. And number seven. We, we didn't. We didn't. We did not. We did an, not. Do an exam. We do an exam on last week. weekend. And last week. Last week. Okay, so it would be number seven. We did not do an exam last, last week. week. And last number eight. Week. You, you didn't, didn't read the newspaper, read newspaper yesterday. yesterday. You, didn't you didn't read the newspaper yeah. yesterday. Okay. Yesterday. Good. Now let me just take attendance. And we're almost done. And okay. Ingrid Carolina. Present, sister. Okay, Jennifer Noemi. Jennifer Noemi. Thank you. Jocelyn Asiria. Joana Raquel. Present, teacher. Thank you. Julia Maritza. Press. Good. Karen Elizabeth Calerón. Present teacher. Thank you. Karen Stephanie Argueta. Carla Iris Martinez. Present teacher. Okay. Carla Vanessa González. Katia Lisbeth Arriola. Present. Thank you. Crisia Magdalena Muñoz. Present, teacher. Luis Alberto Enríquez. Present. Thank you. Luis Alonso Mendoza. Luis Carlos Guevara. Luz Marina Hernández. Present, teacher. Okay, Mayra Lorena Portillo. Present, teacher. Good. Manuel Aristides. Present teacher. Thank you. Marco Antonio. Present teacher. Thank you, Marco. Maria del Carmen Jorge. Present teacher. All right. Maria Jose Abrego. Present teacher. Okay. Maria Jose Martinez. Present teacher. Thank you. Marlene Guadalupe Berrios. 
Marlene Guadalupe Berríos. Ok, Marta Lilian Guevara. Present. Thank you. Marvin Joseph Salazar. Present teacher. Thanks. Mayra Roxana Viloria. Present teacher in Sweet Dream. Thank you, you too. Eh, Melissa Arely Guardado. Present. Thank you. Melvin Antonio. Present teacher. Thank you. Milagro Elizabeth. Present teacher. Okay, Nancy Carolina. Present teacher. Thank you, Nancy. Oscar Giovanni Ortega. Present teacher. Okay, good. And Jose Atilio Flores. Okay. All right, so that is all for today's session. Thanks everybody for your attention. Take care, have a good night. 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 Good night.